At that point, my recommendation is to shave your head. On my journey to self-acceptance of acknowledging the fact that I was losing my hair and it was time to let go and shave, I wasn't as confident in the beginning as some might think based on how I act nowadays. See, in high school, I did my very best to hide my receding hairline. In fact, I had enough hair to where if I fashioned it just right, it covered up the bald spots and I looked like everybody else around me. And for a while that really worked. And then I started getting stressed out because if there was a really windy day or rained a lot, it would show my thinning hair and my receding hairline. So it took a while after high school, maybe like a few weeks to a month, where I finally decided to shave my head. What led me to that decision was looking on YouTube, ironically, and trying to find videos talking about how people made the jump into shaving their head. See, I'd had short haircuts in the past, but I always had a full hairline, so it's not like it looked abnormal or anything for my age range. I just had shorter hair sometimes, other times I had longer hair. I didn't really have as much of a preference back then. So I'm looking at these videos, and I'm listening to these guys talk about their experiences balding. Now, unfortunately, these men were in their mid to late 20s, maybe sometimes in their 30s, so not really a whole lot of people could relate to my experience as a young balding person. And what they eventually said was, the reason why they decided to shave their head was because it looked worse trying to hide it than it did just shaving it off. And I agree to a certain extent that's not a terrible approach. If you have enough hair that it still looks okay without shaving it, yeah, keeping it seems like a logical choice. A lot of people do that in their middle-aged years, unless you're like me and young balding. But I have a different theory and a different suggestion towards those of you watching the video. See, I think that the appearance of it and the aesthetic of it isn't nearly as important as the attitude approaching the subject. So what do I mean by that? When you start to notice a receding hairline, you go through a few different emotions. Usually you're thinking about, can I stop this or can I reverse this? A lot of people turn to ointments, pills, uh, surgeries, whatever it might be, to try to regain some of that lost hairline, or at least to slow down the process. Once people get through that denial phase, they start to get really stressed out about it, and they'll do things like combing over their hair, hiding the bald spots, wearing hats, beanies, doing whatever it takes to make the appearance of losing hair not look like losing hair. So you go through that whole process and you finally get to the point where you're just over it. You're spending way too much time in the mornings throughout your day adjusting your hair, trying to make it look better, spending way too much money on medications, surgeries, procedures, whatever it might be. And you finally get to the point that I got to, which is acknowledging and accepting the fact that you're not getting your hair back and trying to decide what the next step is. At that point, my recommendation is to shave your head. Now, unfortunately, if you're in high school or in your early 20s, it's pretty hard to find people with the same level of receding hairline at least that I have. I'm 22 years old and my hair is not growing back anytime soon. So for me, what made it the easiest to decide to finally shave my head was understanding that my value as a human being is not intrinsically tied to my appearance. Now, I've had a few people in my comments in the past tell me that I have it easy. I'm a relatively taller individual, I have a nice jawline, I have pretty eyes, insert whatever other compliment they might have to me, saying why it was easier for me than it was for them. But I think that's besides the point. The fact of the matter is, the best time to shave your head is whenever you're finally confident and comfortable with the idea of shaving your head. You shouldn't force yourself to do it because people around you are saying that your hair looks bad. You shouldn't force yourself to do it because I'm telling you that's a better idea. You should do it willingly because you actively want to focus more on who you are as a person than what you look like. And once you get to that point, you're going to feel a lot happier, regardless of how you look, regardless of your sex appeal. What's most important is accepting who you are as a person and acknowledging that what you look like doesn't matter. And if you can be mature enough to get to that point early on, especially if you're like me and balding your teenage years, and if you can accept that earlier, you should absolutely shave your head earlier. The main reasoning being, as you move on in life, you're going to meet a lot of new people, especially out of high school and college, once you start getting into the workplace and the professional circles. And if you're the kind of person who looks unconfident because they're doing comb overs and adjusting their hair, or have a really weird hair system that people can obviously tell isn't real, whatever it might be, it's better to get the shaving out of the way early, bite the bullet, and become more comfortable with what you look like, and the people around you will adjust. 
they'll know that's your normal look and people will rarely make any comments about it. I've had my hair shaved like this for nearly four years now. Everybody in my life is used to how my hair looks. Nobody makes comments about it. It's just normal. It's not a big deal. And it makes the process much easier the earlier you do it, only because people will have a longer amount of time to adjust to it. I hope that you found this video informative and maybe even inspiring. I'm hoping that I can be the kind of YouTuber that people can look up to and be able to be inspired to take that next step in their balding journey and shave their head. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and do not forget to keep it casual.